a record tying or, or tied our record warmest Mardi Gras. And that goes back to the 1930s and then prior to that 1917 where we hit 83 degrees. Very warm day and we're starting to see some fog develop. Now visibility is OK at the moment, but looking out of our tower camera, we do have some low cloud in this. And if the wind settled enough, could see some patchy areas of fog during the latter part of the night and into the especially overnight hours where we could see a few issues. Doesn't look like it'll be much of a problem in terms of anything widespread, but maybe something to be mindful of early tomorrow morning if you're not sleeping. Sleep this one through. We've got a little low cloud in set over downtown again. If the wind settle enough, might see some of that settle down. 69 degrees our current temperature. And the dew points are in the upper 60s, so the temperature where we are right now not going to drop much more. Really at no location into the overnight hour. So we're starting out the day tomorrow, likely mid and upper 70s as the dew points are there. So with the measure of the moisture in the atmosphere, the temperatures cannot get lower than the dew points. That would be 100% humidity, and we're already starting to see that. Again, there is enough wind I think through the overnight to really not see widespread fog issues, but enough for maybe some patchy areas. Now the winds are going to be increasing tomorrow and in fact, very brisk most of the day looks like they will start to settle by the latter part of the afternoon and especially into the evening. But a wind advisory will be in effect starting at 9 AM until 6 o'clock with sustained winds of 20 30 miles an hour and gusts up to about 40 miles an hour. So a very windy day tomorrow. That was really our relief today. If you were in that bright sunshine, at least occasionally we had a little breeze. Otherwise, a big upper ridge is allowing for temperatures to kind of soar into the 80s, and we're going to keep this pattern going for a while longer. This is the warm sector underneath this ridge, Texas, across parts of the southern plains and much of the deep south. That's going to persist for the next several days with this upper pattern not really going anywhere. We're generally going to be controlled by this upper ridging with any real cold air staying to our north or out to the west. Now there are some signs we may see a brief break and only a slight, a slight break in this warmth and that's in this little upper trough as we head into early next week. That may bring in a front which will knock our temperatures down slightly, but overall we are very likely to see our temperatures heading into March to stay above average. And in fact, looking at the first seven days of March, we are likely to stay above normal. So really for the foreseeable future going into March, we are likely going to stay above average. Now gradually each day our high temperature, normal high temperature is getting warmer, but it does look like we're going to be staying well above that and a high likelihood of that occurrence. High pressure ridge is also keeping really any clouds and rainfall to our north, so our rain chances is slim. We may see a weak front off to our west that moves in, but not likely to do anything for us. In fact, that little weak disturbance might help to trigger a few little light showers tomorrow and into Thursday, but our rain chance is looking fairly slim as we continue through the uh, overnight. Temperatures dropping into the 60s, so for Ash Wednesday, a mild start and then a warm afternoon at around 82 degrees. About an isolated rain chance Thursday, Friday. You could even see a stray uh, sprinkle tomorrow, uh, say 10% during the day. And and then high temperatures in the lower 80s going into the weekend and early next week, and then only a slight drop in temperature by Tuesday of next week.